What's up everyone? This week I'm going to show you how to build this guitar pedal light on Ranky Builds. Ooh. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. This is for you, Dad. And Brandon and Reese. You're the only three people in the world, well including myself, getting one of these. And I thought I would take you along and show you how I built it. Cue the B-roll. So I wanted to build a desk lamp and I thought why not stick it in a guitar pedal with guitar parts. So I drew this here and was super stoked. And then I had to uh, go out and buy everything I needed and uh, well, I had to buy quite a bit. So when all the parts came in I started tearing them apart and figuring out how they would fit. And uh, you can see here I'm measuring to try to align all of these pieces uh, in a perfect way. So after I made my marks, I started drilling. And I have to say, use a vise for this if you can. I don't have one and drilling on my bathroom floor in the middle of the night is, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do and you're bound to make mistakes. Nice. So this last hole was actually a little tricky. As you can see, I had to put socks and a shoe on for this. So it's getting real. Now the hole saw there is the exact same size as the light socket, so the hole was a little tight. So I had to get in there and sand it down a bit to get the right fit. So I ordered the pedal enclosures in black powder coat, but they didn't look great, so I ended up buying some spray paint anyways. You can see this is flat black, and then I ended up using a satin clear over it to give me a little bit of shine. Hey, just wanted to take a moment to say this video is sponsored by Eager Eyes Design. If you need any logos or Ooh, website... I would oh. not go in there. Dude, this is like the third time you've interrupted me. Sorry, dude. I was just trying to tell you, man, that I'm trying to keep you safe. I, I, I wouldn't go in there for like the next few minutes, I mean, Ugh. maybe even days. No, dude, that's gross, man. Can you just... Can you just go, just do your thing, just... Yeah, so yeah, I can whatever. finish my video? Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, back to what I was saying. Eager Eyes Design is a great resource if you need hey, something. Do you have any that... toilet paper? All right, so this is how I built the cable. I bought some twisted fabric covered wire offline and some two prong heads to go with it. You can see here, it's actually pretty easy to assemble this cable. You basically just have to strip the wires back attach them to the screws, and throw some heat shrink on top. I've actually never used heat shrink before, and I was surprised at how easy it was. Now you want to assemble your light before painting it, you don't want to have to make any adjustments after the fact, so this is actually the second time building this light. And this is the part where I completely destroy a perfectly good guitar jack. After cutting it, the edges were super sharp, so I took it to some sandpaper to make sure the wires didn't get cut. When I ordered this light socket online, I did a lot of research to make sure that the height of it would fit inside the guitar pedal, but I was still a little nervous that it might not fit. Luckily it fit just right with just enough room.
I'm really loving this rotary dimmer by West Tech. It's super simple to set up. Basically, the hot wire goes into it and out into the light socket, and the common wire just goes directly into the light socket. At first, I connected the hot wire to the dimmer with a wire nut, but I really wanted this project to be durable, so I ended up deciding to solder the wires together for a strong hold. For the bottom of the light, I almost bought some rubber feet like a guitar pedal would have, but I decided to go for some felt. So you can see here I'm starting to cut out the felt, and well, I tried my knife and that didn't work, so I went and got a pencil. So yeah, that, that didn't work either. So I got a pen, okay, this should definitely work. Nope, that didn't work, screw it, I'm just gonna cut it. So I had trouble attaching the 12 gauge knob. So what I did is I cut this picture frame mount here and glued it inside. This allowed me to attach the solid shaft knob to the split shaft dimmer. And now for the reveal. That's it, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below, and I need to ditch that bit, because it's not funny. Anyway, I thought of this idea in November 2020, and I just wanted to create something for you guys that was special. Um, Dad, I love you so much. You're the greatest dad I could ever ask for. Reese and Brandon, you're my bros. Thank you so much for being there for me. I love you all, and I hope to see you soon. See ya.